today we're going to be doing a power hack to render yoga and welcome back to your mat and choosing to stay with us you also need to know gratitude for that um yeah so today we're going to be doing a power heart opener so opening a lot into the chest area maybe into the back a little bit but so like moving fluently with the spine a little bit of um, back bend but not like full back bend just a caution just remember to always listen to your body if the lower back is hurting or the shoulders are hurting and you feel like your extension is enough just stay there don't feel the need to carry on and push yourself into an injury injury prone zone um so yeah just listen to your body as always work in a comfort area not in a pain area but still out of your comfort zone Okay, that being said, let's just come to sit in a comfortable seated position. So anywhere that feels comfortable for you. Maybe half lotus, maybe full lotus on your haunches or just simply cross-legged, whatever feels good. And then you can choose here yeah, either palms facing down if you just want to ground yourself today or palms facing up if you feel that you need to just receive a little bit of energy. And then just wherever the hands are, resting them on the knees, beginning to roll the shoulders away from the ears and just closing the eyes. Beginning to settle in into your mat. Taking a full inhale through the nose. Exhale out through mouth. Again, another full inhale here through the nose. And exhale out through mouth. Beautiful, guys. Another full inhale. Exhale, gently release. And now just tuning in with your breath, noticing with the exhales as you begin to drop the shoulders a little bit more down, lengthening out through the spine, and just making sure that you're not holding any tension into the body, letting the belly relax, letting the legs relax. And just with the exhale, beginning to let go of any thoughts in the mind. Letting go of any expectations you have of yourself. Letting go of any expectations you have of your body. And just acknowledging the space and where you are. Being thankful for this space. Being thankful for your body. Being thankful for the ability to move. Just taking another full inhale here, filling the lungs as much as you can and holding the breath at the top for a second. Exhale, release out through the mouth. Letting go of any worries. And just beginning to clear out the mind. And just beginning to ask yourself, how are you feeling today? How is your heart space feeling? How is your outer body feeling? I know things are a bit chaotic at the moment and that's okay. All we can do now is just ebb and flow. Taking another full inhale here through the nose. Exhale out through mouth. Slowly just bringing the hands to prayer, thumbs pressed against the sternum. And if you'd like here, you can either set an intention for your practice, or maybe for yourself. <clears throat> Whether it's just to be mindful of the movement of the body today. To be kinder to yourself. And now gently just opening up the eyes, just bringing the gaze towards the fingertips for now. And then slowly lifting the gaze up. Beautiful, guys. Welcome to your practice. Slowly facing the left hand onto the mat. Right hand reaches up, taking the palm overhead. You can choose here to maybe keep that left hand straight. Or if you want, you can bend slightly into that elbow, getting a nice good side straight into the right side body. But now you just want to be mindful of that right sit bone. So make sure that it's still on the mat. It's not lifting all the way up. 
Beautiful. Inhale to come up. Exhale over to the other side. Right hand drops down. Left hand over. Again, take it to your edge. Just make sure that left sit bone isn't reaching up. Beautiful, guys. Gently coming up. You're going to just unravel the feet. Coming to sit onto your sit bone. Now you just want to remove the flesh from underneath the sit bone so that you're firmly onto the bone. And then gently just bringing the knees in towards the chest, placing the hands underneath the knees. So you're just going to hover here. And then slowly looking the knees up to 90. So maybe this is enough for you and you want to just keep holding the legs. That's perfectly fine. Otherwise, releasing the hands alongside the legs. Now as we inhale, we're going to lengthen up through the legs and through the body. Hover. Exhale brings us back up, knee in towards chest. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, knee in towards chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee in towards chest. Two more of these. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, knee in towards chest. Last one. Inhale to lengthen. Hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful, guys. Bring your knees in towards chest. Just taking the feet as wide as the mat. Hands go towards the feet. Gently dropping the forehead down. Beautiful, guys. Staying connected with that breath. So we're just warming up the core here. Beautiful. Coming back up. Knees in towards the chest. Again, option to just hold here. All hands alongside the body. Keep the legs at 90. Now remember to relax the shoulders away from the ears. So don't scrunch them up. Pull them down so that you stay straight into that spine. Now, as you inhale, you're going to lengthen up the legs. Exhale back to 90. Inhale to lengthen legs. Exhale, 90. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Keep that core tight. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, guys. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly releasing down. Just bringing the soles of the feet to touch. Coming into your Baddha Konasana. So again, choose where you want the feet. So maybe they're a little bit closer in towards the groin, maybe further apart. You just go to your edge. Remember, we're still warming up here. So interlace the hands around the toes. Exhale, drop down. Beautiful, guys. Gently coming up, rolling over the knees. You're coming into your tabletop position. And again, just moving with your own breath here in your own time. So maybe you're faster than me, maybe a little bit slower. We're going to move through cat and cow. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale again, gaze goes up. Exhale, gaze towards the navel. Inhale, move with your own breath. Feeling the movements of the spine here. Pushing between the shoulder blades. Really taking that gaze up towards the ceiling and rounding through the back as much as you can as you take the gaze towards the navel. Two more here, guys. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, guys. Coming to a neutral spine, taking that left leg behind you now. Now you want the toes to face towards the mat, so don't let them face out because then the hips lift up. So keep the toes facing the mat. And now make sure you're pushing between those shoulder blades, so don't crunch down, push up. Stay strong here. Now you want to activate that glute muscle, so pull the glutes in. We all know of a thing called yoga bum, so that just happens when the glute muscle is relaxed. So really contract the glute muscle. Beautiful, guys. Dropping that foot behind you. You're going to take that right leg out to a 90 degree. And then slowly lifting up into your open gate pose. Okay, letting that left hand slide down. Right hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Beautiful, guys. Bringing that right hand onto the mat. Left leg reaches up. Inhale. And now flow here. So exhale, drop. Left hand drops down. Right hand comes up. Beautiful. Right hand down. Left hand up. Again, left leg down, right hand up. And right hand down, left leg up. Beautiful, guys. Coming back up. Inhale. 
and just feeling the stretch and maybe you want to bend into that left arm to get a little bit more side stretch lovely slowly coming all the way up right hand onto the mat left leg left arm up now you're going to take that left arm overhead as you exhale bring elbow to touch knee inhale straighten exhale elbow touches knee inhale lengthen exhale touch two more inhale exhale last one inhale and exhale beautiful slowly lengthening out through the leg and the arm gently dropping that left leg down left hand goes down again inhale beautiful guys coming up you're keeping the hips lifting bringing the hands onto the mat slowly walking them forward head goes down towards the mat Beautiful. Slowly coming back onto the hands. Inhale, take right hand overhead. Exhale to create an in between the gaps. Right temple comes down to the mat. Just still keeping those, hands, those hips lifting. Stay connected with the breath here. Taking full inhales and exhales. And slowly lifting yourself all the way up. Bringing the hands back into down dog position. Gently extending that left leg behind you again. Taking right arm forward and just hold here. Find your balance, toes face the mat. And slowly releasing down, moving through cat and cow again with your own breath. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, look up. Exhale to round. Last one, inhale. And exhale, beautiful guys, coming to neutral spine again, extending that right leg behind you now. Stay strong, toes face the mat, push in between those shoulder blades. Hold here, engage the core. Beautiful, dropping that right leg behind you, taking the left leg out towards the side, slowly lifting all the way up. Right hand goes down, left hand up. Feel that side stretch into the left side body now. And slowly coming down, left hand down, right leg, right arm down. I mean up. Slowly coming down, right arm down, left hand up. And now flow here with your own breath. Go as fast or as slow as you'd like. Just make sure you're feeling the movement here, yeah, feel the movement into the side bodies. And slowly coming down, right hand down, left arm up. Beautiful guys, placing that left hand onto the mat, taking right hand up, right leg up, hand overhead. As you exhale, bring elbow to touch knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow touches knee. Inhale to lengthen. Three more. Inhale. Beautiful. Two more. Extend. Exhale to crunch. Last one. Inhale, lengthen. Beautiful. Place that leg down, slowly coming up. Right hand down, left hand up. And gently coming up, keeping the hips lifted as you walk the hands forward, drop forehead down towards the mat. Now the goal here is to just try to get the chest a little bit closer towards the mat. I've got Buddha in my way, so I can't. <laughs> Beautiful guys, coming back up, taking left hand overhead, inhale. Exhale to thread it in between the gap, left temple down onto the mat. Beautiful, slowly coming back onto all fours. Take that right leg behind you, left arm reaches forward. Find your balance here, engage the core, toes face the mat. And slowly releasing, going through one last cat and cow. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round, bring the gaze towards navel. Inhale. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Beautiful, guys. Coming to a neutral spine. Tuck the toes. Lift the knees. Slowly straightening out through the legs. Coming into your first downward facing dog. Now you just want to pedal out the feet here. Go one by one. Left and right. Left and right. Go as slow as you can. Really lengthening out through the calves. Through the hamstrings. 
and try and get onto the tippy toes as much as you can. So not just lifting up into the ball, really get onto those tippy toes. Beautiful guys. Coming to stillness and just walking the hands back, one hand space, you should just shortening your dog. And then taking the left hand to grab the left ankle first. If this is too much for you, you're hanging out here. Otherwise, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, right leg reaches up towards the sky. Beautiful, guys, if that leg's lifting, slowly releasing down, releasing left hand. Let's go over to the other side, right hand grabs right ankle. And then slowly, if you want, you can lift up the left leg. Beautiful, slowly releasing that leg if it's lifting, coming back to your downward facing dog. Inhale to come forward, high plank. Exhale, push back, down dog. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Last one, inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, down and facing dog. Beautiful, guys, bring the big toes to touch. Knees as wide as the mat, come to your wide legged child's pose. Walk the hands forward. Bring forehead down to the mat if you can. Feel a bit of connection on the belly, onto the thighs. Beautiful guys, gently lifting all the way up, coming back downward facing dog. And then coming onto the balls of the feet, bending into the knees, you're gonna take the hips over towards the left side, knees to right. And just feeling here, keep the hands onto the mat. So try and twist a little bit more of that space is available. Beautiful, coming back to center, over towards the other side, knees towards left, hips to right. Keep the hands on the mat. Beautiful guys, slowly lengthening you out, downward facing dog. Taking right leg overhead, inhale. Exhale to step it in between the hands, releasing that left knee down towards the mat, slowly lifting the hands up towards the ceiling. Now just be mindful here that we're still warming up, so if there's tightness into the lower back, don't try to overextend as yet. Okay, keep the palms facing one another, stay strong. Bring the hands onto the mat, slowly straightening out through that front leg. Inhale, come forward, hands reach up. Hands to the mat, straighten out through front leg. Inhale, move forward, hands go up. Exhale, hands onto the mat, straighten out through that front leg and hold here. Maybe if you want, you can either keep the hands onto the mat or reach them back. The hands are reaching back, slowly placing them on the mat, coming forward back into your low lunge. Inhale, lifting up the hands. Slowly cactusing the arms, so pulling the shoulder blades towards one another. You want to imagine that there's a coke can between your shoulder blades and you're squeezing it. So squeeze the elbows towards one another. And gently releasing up. Inhale again, cactus arms, squeeze shoulder blades. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale to squeeze shoulder blades, push that chest forward. And exhale, gently release, beautiful. Bringing the right hand onto the knee, left hand onto the mat. And gently just pushing that knee over towards the right side, gaze goes towards the back of the mat. And slowly coming forward, bringing left hand onto the knee. Now if you can't grab hold of the foot, maybe just get a strap. Otherwise bend into the back leg, grab hold of the foot and just twist over that right side a little bit. Beautiful guys, gently releasing, bringing that left hand back onto the mat, slowly tucking the toes, lifting the knee, right hand reaches up towards the sky. Now you can choose here, if you wanna take a full expression, don't keep the hand then there, drop the hand behind you. Otherwise, if the shoulders are still a bit tight, keep the hand at 12. Beautiful, wherever you are, both hands onto the mat. Let's take that right leg back up, three-legged dog. And then gently just bending into that knee, looking underneath the left armpit to see the foot and bananaing the body as much as you can. 
Yankee squaring up, coming back, downward facing dog. Option to stay here, just moving through a vinyasa quickly. Inhale to take your cobra, take your time here. And when you're ready, lifting up, downward facing dog. Beautiful guys, left side, inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, in between the hands, right knee down towards the mat. Bring hands overhead, inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, straighten out through that front leg. Come forward, inhale, hands go up. Exhale, hands onto the mat, straighten. Inhale again to come up. Exhale, hands onto the mat, straighten. Holding here, option again to keep the hands onto the mat or you're reaching them back, palms facing up towards the ceiling. Slowly releasing the hands if they were lifted, coming back into your low lunge, both hands reach up towards the sky. And slowly again, cactusing the arms as much as you can, pulling shoulder blades towards one another. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale to lift up. Last one, exhale, cactus arms, push the chest forward. Inhale to straighten, beautiful guys. Bringing that right hand onto the mat now, slowly pushing that left knee over towards the left side. Take the gaze towards the back of the room. Beautiful guys, slowly squaring off, bringing the right hand onto that left knee. Again, if you can't reach hold of that foot, grab hold of the strap to wrap around the foot, otherwise bend into the knee, hold onto the foot as you twist over left side now. Beautiful guys, gently releasing, right hand back onto the mat, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, easy twist. Beautiful, both hands onto the mat, left leg goes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, down and facing dog. Gently coming forward into your high plank and slowly dropping knees as wide as the mat, big toes to touch, wide leg of child's pose, walk the hands forward. Stay connected with your breath. Stay connected with that intention that you said at the beginning of the class. Beautiful guys, when you're ready, slowly coming back up into your tabletop. Then gently tucking the toes, letting the knees hover about five centimeters of the mat. And when you're ready, straightening out through the legs, down and facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, in between the hands, lifting up, crescent lunge, both hands reach up. Sink low into those hips as you drop that thigh a little bit more parallel with the mat. Beautiful, hands to heart center, slowly kicking that left leg up, warrior three. And now staying strong here, you're gonna take the hands behind you, knee in towards the chest. Keep the torso low. Hands to heart center, leg goes back. Knee in towards chest, hands back. Hands to heart center, leg back. Last one, knee in towards chest, hands back. And exhale, but take the leg back, hands to heart center. Slowly dropping back down, crescent lunge, inhale, both hands reach up. Again, cactus arms, pull the shoulder blades towards one another, push that chest forward. Inhale, release. Exhale to cactus arms. Inhale to release. Inhale, cactus arms, beautiful. Inhale, gently release. Slowly bringing the hands to heart center, gently making your way towards the front of the mat, both feet to meet. Inhale, take hands overhead. Exhale, swan dot, swan dot forward, take a forward fold. And now gently bending into the knees, just taking the feet hip-width distance apart. Maybe if you want, you can grab opposite elbows, otherwise just let the hands sway onto the mat. And gently just moving the body from side to side. Beautiful guys, coming to stillness, releasing the hands, walking the feet back into your high plank. Option to just lift up into down dog or come forward into a vinyasa. And then we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Left leg goes up towards the sky, inhale. 
Exhale, crescent lunge. Stay strong here. Get that thigh as parallel as you can on that mat. Beautiful. Hands to heart center. Kicking right leg up towards the sky. Warrior three. Keep the torso low as you bring knee in towards chest. Hands go back. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Inhale. Knee in towards chest. Hands back. Exhale. Lengthen. Inhale, knee in towards chest. Exhale, lengthen. Beautiful. One more. Knee in towards chest. And exhale. Slowly stepping back. Crescent lunge. Both hands up. Cactus arms again. Slowly releasing. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, release. Last one. Cactus arms to hold. Stay strong here. And gently releasing, hands to heart center, bringing both feet to meet at the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up hands. Exhale to swan dive. Take a forward fold. Take it to your edge, so maybe you're bending into the knees, maybe the legs are straightening, maybe hands on floor, or arms wrapped around the calf muscles. Beautiful guys, wherever you are, gently releasing, walking back into your high plank. Slowly lowering through Chaturanga all the way down to the mat. Beautiful. And now you can choose maybe the toes together or maybe the toes as wide as the mat. Slowly reaching back with the hands into an interlace. And now you want to keep the hands on the small of the back. And then when you're ready, as you inhale, you're only lifting up the chest. So inhale to lift up. Exhale down. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale. And hold your forward. And exhale down. Releasing the hands alongside the body and just bringing the right cheek down to the mat. Just moving the hips from side to side, releasing any tension in the lower back. Beautiful guys, bringing the hands in line with the chest, but take them out slightly, fingertips onto the mat, elbows facing up. And now you want to inhale for cobra, inhale. Exhale down, peel the chest towards the mat, head comes down last. Inhale to peel up. Exhale, chest goes down first, head last. One more, inhale. And exhale down. Beautiful guys, hands in line with the chest, palms flat. Slowly pushing over the knees, child's pose. Head towards the mat. Once again, connecting with the breath, connecting with the intention. Beautiful, guys. Slowly coming back up. And when you're ready, lifting up, down or facing dog. Beautiful. Left, right leg reaches up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, crescent lunge, step it in between the hands, both hands reach up towards the sky. Beautiful guys, here, dropping that back foot parallel with the mat, you're setting up warrior two. Stay strong, strong here, con contract the triceps, pulling the belly button. Slowly dropping that left hand down, right hand reaches up, reverse. Coming back up, warrior two. Hands to heart center, just take Skandasana back of the mat over left side. Inhale to come forward, warrior two. Hands to heart center, Skandasana. Inhale, warrior two. Last one, Skandasana, hold here. Beautiful, guys. If that foot is lifting, it's perfectly fine. Slowly coming back up, warrior two. Stay strong. Exhale to reverse, left hand down, right hand up. Slowly coming back up, warrior two. Beautiful guys, hands to heart center, crescent lunge. Stay strong. Maybe see if you could drop that thigh a little bit more than what you could at the beginning of the class. Both hands reach up overhead. Take the hands onto the mat, right leg goes up, three-legged dog. Beautiful. Bending into that knee, looking underneath the left armpit till you see your foot. And then slowly dropping it behind you, releasing the hips to the mat. 
You want to keep that right leg bent, left leg is straight. Inhale to lift up the hips. Exhale, come down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale down. Last one, inhale to lift up and hold here. Beautiful, bringing that right hand onto the mat, slowly stepping back, downward facing dog. Option to move through vinyasa or just hold your down dog. Take your time wherever you are. Beautiful guys, and then we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Just doing a little shuffle here. Beautiful, taking the left leg up towards the sky, inhale to step through, crescent lunge. Find your balance, lift up the hands, and slowly dropping out, warrior two, left side now. Exhale to reverse, right hand down, left hand up. Beautiful, inhale to come back up, warrior two. Hands to heart center, take skandhasana back of the mat. Slowly lifting up, warrior two. Exhale, Skandasana. Inhale, warrior two. Last one, Skandasana. Hold here. Beautiful, lifting up, warrior two. Stay strong. Hands to heart center, crescent lunge. Again, drop that hip parallel. Hands to the mat, left leg goes up, inhale. Bending into that knee, looking underneath, right armpit now until you see your foot. And slowly dropping it behind you, hips come down onto the mat. Inhale to lift up. Exhale down. Inhale lift you up. Exhale down. Last one, inhale. Hold here. And slowly coming back, down and facing dog. Again, option vinyasa or just hold. Take your time. Okay, we're holding down dog, five breaths here. So with each exhale, try to push the chest a little bit closer towards the thighs. Once again, staying connected with the breath. Beautiful guys, bringing a big toes to touch, knees as wide as the mat, wide like a child's pose, bring the forehead down. So we also use down dogs as a resting pose, obviously if it's too much you just come down to child's pose. Okay guys, when you're ready, coming back down the facing dog. And then coming onto the balls of the feet again, bending into the knees. You're going to take the knees over towards the left, hips to the right. Now if you want, you can lift up that left hand, opening up the chest and let that left hand drop behind you. Beautiful, let's square off, coming back, down dog. Over towards the other side, so onto the balls of the feet, knees to right, hips to left. Inhale, lift up the right hand, drop it behind you to open up the chest. Beautiful guys, come back down and facing dog. Taking that right leg up towards the sky, inhale. Exhale, crescent lunge. Gently lifting all the way up. Cactus in the arms, turning that chest forward. Maybe if you want, the head goes back. Beautiful guys, if the head's back, bringing it forward. Keep the cactus arms as you release that left knee down towards the mat. And then again, maybe drop the head back if that's available. Beautiful, slowly lifting up the gaze. Gently just bringing the hands into the small of the back as you slowly just square off your low lunge. So it's not completely straight and it's not sinking deep, so you're just squaring it off here. Keep the hands there. Bring the elbows towards one another, gently dropping the head back. Slowly lifting up, bringing the hands onto the mat as you just walk that right foot over towards the left hand. Setting up a pigeon to make sure that you're lengthening out through that back leg, find your extension. And then gently again, just coming up, 
We're not going to go into mermaid or king pigeon, but if you want to go there, of course you can. Otherwise, just take the hands, palms facing up towards the ceiling again. Push that chest forward, head goes back. Push the hips down as well. Beautiful, guys. Slowly lifting up. Now all you're going to do is just roll onto that right hip. And then you're going to bring that right foot onto the mat. So it looks, should look something like this. Okay, and then grab hold of that right ankle with the left hand. So now maybe this will be too much and you just want to hang out here and just work on pulling yourself down. And that's fine. Otherwise, if you want a little bit more, you're going to bring that arm onto the inside of the leg. And the more you bend into the arm, the closer you'll get down towards the mat. Okay, and then when you're ready, you're going to lift up that right arm. And maybe it's hovering here, and that's fine. But just check in with the chest, so everything should be facing up towards the ceiling, so you're not collapsing like so, still pull it up. And now if you want, and if that space is available, you can bend over to grab hold of the foot, twisting a little bit more underneath that armpit. And then you can use the grip of the ankle to pull yourself a little bit towards your left leg. Stay connected with the breath here, I know it's a compressing pose. Beautiful guys, gently lifting all the way up, bringing the hands back, take that leg back into your pigeon, and then taking one last expression here, so reaching the hands back, beautiful, slowly placing the hands in down dog position, you tuck in the toes, lift that right knee in towards the chest first, and then take it up, exhale, and slowly releasing down, downward facing dog option again, move through another vinyasa, or just hold your down dogs. Beautiful guys, down dogs, take left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, in between the hands, crescent lunge, left side. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, cactus arms, send the chest forward, head goes back. Beautiful, bring that gaze forward, release that right knee down towards the mat. Keep that low lunge again, taking the head back. Beautiful, slowly coming up, releasing the hands. Again, you're squaring off that low lunge a little bit, so it's not deep. Square it off. Hands onto the small of the back. Slowly bringing elbows towards one another. Take the head back. Beautiful, guys. Gently lifting all the way up. Moving that left foot over towards the right side. Now, pigeon onto the left side. And then again, you can choose maybe... You want to do a king pigeon or mermaid, you're more than welcome to go there. Otherwise, just coming back, palms facing towards the ceiling, drop the hips towards the mat, head goes up. Beautiful, guys. Gently releasing, dropping onto that left hip now. And then just placing that left foot firmly onto the mat as we lengthen out through that right leg. And then again, gripping that right left ankle, sorry, with the right hand. And again, maybe this is too much. More than welcome to hang out here. Otherwise, bend into that right arm as much as you can. Let that left arm hover. And again, if that space is available, you're reaching for that right foot, twisting underneath left armpit. Stay connected with the breath. Beautiful, guys. Wherever you are, gently releasing. Coming back into pigeon at the front of the mat, hands in down dog position. Tuck the toes, lift that left knee in towards the chest. Exhale, take it back, three-legged dog. Both feet onto the mat, down dog. Last vinyasa, let's go. Inhale to shift forward. Exhale all the way down to the mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down dog, beautiful. Beautiful guys, bringing the big toes to touch, knees as wide as the mat, wide like a child's pose. And now slowly just walking the hands over towards the right side, bring forehead down towards the mat, keep the connection of the stomach onto the thighs. Slowly walking it back to center, taking it over towards the left side as much as you can. And 
center and coming back, child's pose, beautiful. Slowly lifting all the way up, you're coming to sit onto your heels. So now, keeping the heels connected, the hips connected to the heels. You can even bring the big toes to touch if you want. You're just gonna reach back with your hands into an interlace, keep the palms together, and really pull the arms away from the body. So you can notice naturally now my chest automatically goes forward. So what we're gonna do is take the hands behind you, send that chest forward as much as you can. Maybe you can exaggerate that movement into the lower spine as well. Drop, drop, drop. If it's okay for the neck, take the gaze up towards the ceiling. And you can hold here for about three to five breaths. And really keep the palms together. And then when you're done keeping the palms together, you're slowly just going to mount forward, forehead onto the mat. Take the palms above the head as you come into a variation of child's pose. And then slowly releasing the hands alongside the body. Beautiful, guys. Again, you're just making yourself all the way up. Coming to roll back onto your back. And then gently coming to lie down, bringing that right knee in towards the chest. And now you want to just take it slightly off the midline, so it's not directly on the chest. So pull that a little bit to the side. Activate through that right foot, that left hip is still on the mat. And then take half happy baby here, so grabbing the outside edge of that right foot, pulling knee in towards chest. Beautiful guys, yeah, now you can choose what you want to do. So either you're just going to hold that right knee and just pull it over towards right side. Otherwise, two piece fingers around the big toe, lengthening out through that leg and slowly taking it over towards the right side. Making sure that that left hip is not lifting up. And if that space is available, you're bending into that right arm a little bit to get the foot a little bit closer towards the head. Let the breath slow down. Beautiful, slowly, if that leg is straight, bend into that knee, hug your knee in towards the chest again. And gently changing sides, left leg in. Once again, taking it slightly off the midline. And taking half happy baby here, holding the outside edge of that left foot, knee in towards the armpit. Activate through that left foot. And choosing here, maybe just holding the knee, knee over towards the left. Otherwise, two piece fingers around that big toe. Slowly dropping that leg out towards the left side. Keep that right hip down onto the mat. And then gently, if that leg is straight, bending into that knee, hugging knee in towards the chest again. And then gently, just bringing both knees in. Just holding the knees with the hands and just making circles here, one direction. Leaving the tailbone on the mat. And then just changing direction here. And then taking full happy baby, holding the outside edges of the feet. And if it's okay for the spine, slowly rocking from side to side. Gently just releasing the feet towards the mat, taking them as wide as the mat, and just doing a couple of windshields here with the knees, so dropping them over towards the right side and then over towards the left. Moving your own time at your own pace. And then when you feel like you're done, slowly just straightening out through the legs, setting up for your Shavasana. Taking the legs as wide as the mat if you wish, or keep them together, hands either on the belly or alongside you, closing the eyes. Just taking another full inhale here through the nose. Exhale, begin to slide out through the mouth. Just taking this time to express gratitude for your body, for being able to move today. Expressing gratitude for yourself, for coming onto your mat. 
have some gratitude for yourself for making this time for a little bit of self-practice, self-work, self-love. Just beginning to center yourself. Noticing how the body is feeling now after practice. Notice how the breath moves more easily through the body. Taking another full inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Just feeling with the exhales as you begin to release more and more into your mat. Feeling how your body surrenders down into the mat. Feeling any tension or any weight? Just leaving the body now. Coming back to that area of relaxation. Slowly when you're ready, as you inhale, take the hands overhead, stretching out through the fingers and through the toes. And as you exhale, bring your knees in towards the chest, giving yourself a good squeeze. And then when you're ready, keeping the eyes closed, just gently making your way up to a seated position in any way that feels good for you. Once again, little cross-legged, half lotus, full lotus. And gently just bringing the hands to pray. I thank you, I honor you, and I respect you. Namaste.